So that means that you're cool. Bam. And you're in here, you're chilling with us. All right, our, our objective for today, I can solve and graph absolute value, one variable inequalities. Let's read together. One, two, three. I can solve and graph absolute value, one variable inequality. So we're still on one variable inequalities. We don't need a Frayer model for that. But today we're going to focus on absolute value. So we don't need a Frayer model. We don't need steps. Well, sorry. We don't need steps because we know that we're still using simplify, isolate, plot, and check. But copy this example, example 1A. It says, solve the inequality and graph the solutions, absolute value x minus 1, less than or equal to 2. Copy that, please, and then I'll go over it. All right, pens down, writing utensils down. Let me go over this one really quick. Look up, please. So I need your full attention because this is where it gets a little bit interesting and I might lose some of you. So stay focused, please. Here it goes. Line down the inequality symbol. Now check this out. Since there's nothing outside the absolute value, remember on equations, once there's nothing, we do two equations, right? This is very similar, but now we, we're going to write two inequalities. So watch. Look up, please. Be uh, focused on this part or else you're going to lose the concept. Here goes the main concept. This one, I'm going to make it into a negative 2. Then I write x minus 1. Then I write... Now, think about it. it be, from 2, it became a negative 2. It was an inequality, and I flipped it. Talk it over with your neighbor. Why do you think I flipped the inequality symbol? <laughs> Okay, I heard some of you saying because he changed it to a negative. That is correct. But let me show you the uh, what, why, the why part as to why it, it becomes a negative. Look up, please. This was a 2. So, the 2, to make it into a negative 2, think about it. What do I need to do to this 2? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Think about it. What do I need to do to this 2 to make it into a negative 2? Very good. Some of you said divide by negative 1. Yes. Or multiply times negative 1. Either one works, right? So if we multiply or divide by a negative, what happens to the inequality symbol? That's why we switch it. Everybody with me? So right now you're just paying attention. The second one stays the same. X minus 1 less than or equal to 2. Now check this out. You'll copy in a little bit. Let me just finish. Plus 1 plus 1. X greater than or equal to negative 1. Plus 1 plus 1. X less than or equal to 3. I'm going to graph this. I got 0. My first dividing point is negative 1. Is it a close point? Yes. I'm going to test 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 1? Yes, so it's going that way. My next dividing point is 3. Is it a close point? Yes. And I'm going to test 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 3? Yes, so it's going that way. And what do we find out? That this is a what? And... Therefore, my solution set for x is negative 1. Solid point is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3, and we're done. Copy that, please. Bam! So, does everybody understand what we did here, right? The process is the same as the equations, except for you just need to make sure when you make the number into a negative, you flip the inequality symbol. Are we there? All right, so copy this next one, please. Example 1b. You don't have to copy the instructions, just write absolute value of x, close the absolute value, minus 3, less than negative 1. Let's do this one together. Here we go. Line down the inequality symbol. What's outside the absolute value? So what is the inverse, everyone? Plus 3, plus 3. We're left with absolute value of x, less than, less than, Two. two. All right? Since we're done simplifying for the absolute value, now we write our two inequalities. Is that correct? 
Our first one is going to be the ne the two becomes a what? Negative. Negative two. What happens to the inequality symbol? It flips, and we write whatever's inside, so it's x. All right. Now we're going to do one for the positive two, less than x. So far, is it good? Let's graph that. I got zero. My first dividing point is what? Negative two. Is it an open or close point? Open, and I'm going to test zero. Is zero greater than negative two? Yes, yeah, so it shades to the right. Then I got two right here. It's an open point. And I'm going to test zero again. Is zero less than two? Yes, yeah, so it, it goes that way, and we see that it's a what? And. So we write solution set of x such that negative 2, what else? Less than x, less than 2. How are we doing? Yeah? All right. Any questions with this? We got it? All right. Copy this next one, example 2a. Here we go. It says 3 plus absolute value x plus 2 greater than 5. See if you can do that one by yourself. Go. Copy that and solve. Okay, let's see. Line down the inequality symbol. Uh, get me started with this one. Jimmy, what do I do? Damn. Subtract 3, subtract 3. We're left with absolute value x plus 2 greater than 2. Bless you. Um, what do I do from there? Caden, what, what is my next step? Uh, work. We can't because it's in an absolute value form, and, but there's nothing else here. So what would be the next step? Okay, look, there's nothing outside the absolute value, so therefore we have the next steps to do. What would be the next step? No? One? Two inequalities. What is the first one? Less than negative two. So we write two inequalities, one negative, two, and we switch the inequality symbol and one positive. So this is x plus 2 greater than 2. You see that, Caden? Okay. So from there we solve. So this one is minus 2 minus 2, x less than negative 4, minus 2 minus 2, x greater than 0. Hands if you got it to right there. Okay? Let's graph. So here, Dividing point is 0, so let's see, I'm sorry, uh, I'm starting at negative 4. It's an open point. I'm going to test 0. It is 0 less than negative 4. 0 is less than negative 4? No. So I'm going the opposite direction. 0 is the open point, so now I'm going to test negative 4. Is negative 4 greater than 0? No, so I'm going the opposite direction. So what do you guys notice? This is a what? Or. It's an or. So we write solution set for x such that, what's our first one? x less than negative 4. Or, what is our second one? x greater than 0. Hands if you got that. Okay? So far so good. So now let me show you a couple things before I go to the last example. Check this out. Look up to the screen, please. Pens down, eyes up there. Watch. See if you see what I see. Here he goes. Look at the first example. I'm not going to say anything. Let your noodle think. Here he goes. Look up.
Talk it out with your neighbor, see what they saw. Bam. All right. So, let's see. Who can elaborate uh, a conclusion for this? If they look like that, who can uh, tell us uh, what's going on? Uh, Leilani. So, if, if it goes to the left, this will be a what? And. And if they go to the right, they are or. That is correct. So make sure you make a little note for yourself on that. These are and, and these are ors. You don't have to write everything down. Just do this. Look up. Absolute value like that, it, or absolute value like this. These are and. Absolute value like this, or absolute value like this. These are or. Okay? And the last example. Copy this one, please. Example Q, A, and B. You don't have to copy the instructions, just copy the inequalities, please. For A, we got absolute value X plus 4 minus 5 greater than negative 8. And B is absolute value of X minus 2 plus 9 less than 7. Now check this out. We don't have to do a lot of work for these. I just wanted to make sure that you got these and you see what I see. Here it goes. Line down the inequality symbol. I add 5 at 5. We end up with absolute value x plus 4 greater than negative 3. If this was an equation, what would this be? No solution because of the negative, right? But it's an inequality. But look, what do we know about in, uh, absolute values? That anything that comes out is a what? A positive. And what number do we have here? Negative. negative. And it's an inequality. Are positive numbers greater than negative numbers? Yes. So what can we conclude? That X is what? Yes. All real numbers. Hold on. We're not done. Last one. Minus 9 minus 9. Absolute value X minus 2. Less than negative 2. Shh. Look up, please. This is a positive, right? This is a negative. Is this true? No. Are positives less than negatives? No. Therefore, no. no solution. Home play for tonight. Play sheet, it's up here. 6-5. Yeah. Give it to them. Let's see. Uh, good one, everyone. There's the uh, home play for tonight. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Bye. Have a good one. See you guys tomorrow.